Okay, so here's my pantry. Here we go. Pantry. <laughs> Turn the light on for you. I'm crazy about my pantry, my friends. I love a pretty pantry. The reason why I have all of these containers is when we moved into this house, we got horrific pantry bugs. It was the most disgusting thing ever. This was two years ago. So I got all of these containers and no bugs. So now I have not had any bug issues in my pantry. And we did like seal all of the little edges around the sides and then I repainted the whole pantry and yeah, we're doing good. So anyways, I'm gonna give you a quick tour. By the way, those containers I got at Costco in like a bundle. I know they sell on Amazon, but I think they're much more. But anyways, or a lot more. I got these uh, refrigerator containers at Aldi's and I got these bins at Target. So inside here I keep chicken broth and boxes of mac and cheese. And then right here we keep all of our kids' cups and then all of my sprinkles. Okay, so I got these Lazy Susans on Amazon. I love them. I got these little containers at the dollar store to house potatoes and onions. It's where we keep chips and stuff. All my nuts and seeds and crackers and beans, dry beans, all go right here. Here is like snack bars. Um, applesauce, popcorn, and then in the back there is some juice boxes that my husband brought home from work one day. Here are all of my pantry goods. I got this little um, stair step thing, I think at Bed Bath & Beyond. And then peanut butter, raisins, honey, applesauce, salsa, my tea bags, and then my jelly. And then I sell my jelly at my husband's work. Um, and then here are just like leftover containers that I have ready to go. I wash them in the dishwasher. And then juice that I use to make my grape jelly. Okay, so you might be thinking like, what, what about grains and stuff? Well, I'm crazy. I keep all of my grains right here or in my freezer because pantry bugs like grains and I never run, want to run the risk of getting them again. I wish there was like a very pretty place to put them so that they're not just sitting on my counter. I hate having stuff on my counters, but what you gonna do? And then I keep all of my spices and stuff up here. And I got these at Aldi's like a couple months ago. I doubt they still have them, but I love them. And they were only $4.99. They're awesome, so. Hey friends, so we just got home I'm picking up the girls from school and we're about to go to dance and I thought that I would show you my deep freezer before we go. So typically I know that it's fancy Pinteresty to have like bins that you put all your stuff in but that's not very like debt free friendly and so let me show you. So I have everything in bags and I actually like this system more so let me take out my bread this is my four loaves of bread I got on clearance and I like it because of the handle these Walmart bags are like the bags that you can buy for 10 cents um I love them they're super sturdy and then I can just take stuff out to get to what I need Okay, so in here I do like boxings. I told you guys I freeze cereal and crackers and stuff before I bring it into my house. That way I don't get bugs. I have bacon. I have eight packages of hot dogs and a frozen pizza. Okay, down here I have all of our lunch meat. This is stuff that I got at the 99 cent store uh, over the weekend. And then I have, goodness, uh, breakfast sausage and stuff down there too. Okay. Uh, here, when I buy, normally when I buy packages like this of meat, I take them out and then I put seasonings on them. So I have lots of bags of seasoned chicken ready to go. Okay, last but not least, I have more boxed goods. I got all of these at Kro um, Foods Co. Kroger ran for a dollar. And then I have hash browns and mashed potatoes. So that is how I organize my deep freezer. It may not be the pretty way, but it's very effective and I'm able to store a lot of extra meat for our no spin challenge this month. So tomorrow I'll show you my refrigerator.
So yesterday I told you I would show you my refrigerator and freezer in my house. So let me show you. Okay, it's nothing fancy. <laughs> Here's all our sauces and stuff. I have lentils and flax seeds and popcorn, chocolate chips and stuff down here. Okay, and then here we go. Okay, so a couple weeks ago I told you guys about these containers, they were at Aldi's for $4.99. The Dollar Tree actually has them as well. They're a little bit different, but they're only a dollar, so I would check it out. Okay, so I just, we don't drink alcohol. However, I do like to cook with wine, so for like um, beef roast and stuff. So eggs, bread, so more sauces, my homemade enchilada sauce I showed you guys. And then right here, I normally have my husband's breakfast bars, almond flour, coconut sugar, coconut flour, gluten-free bagels, cocoa powder, pecans. And then down here is like sugar stuff for when I make jam. Now I normally store leftovers and stuff back in here and we go through it that same week. I don't like to waste leftovers. And then of course in here we have cheese and lunch meat. Okay, I feel like these two drawers are looking a little bit slim. Um, I do, like when I get bell peppers and stuff that start to wilt like this, I'll just chop them up and throw them in the freezer. So that probably needs to be done soon. And then we're very bare on our apples and produce and stuff because I need to go grocery shopping. So now let me show you my freezer. I bought this at Foods Co. a week ago, all this meat. Okay, get that thing's just gonna keep beeping at me. I try to store most of our meat up here on the top shelf so I can see it. And then here on the second shelf, I store frozen vegetables and fruit. Just like I showed you yesterday with my deep freezer, I keep a bag. Okay, so in here is where I have frozen celery and bell peppers, my lemons and oranges. I have frozen pineapple, my frozen bag of spinach. I have a frozen bag of bananas. Okay, down here is frozen strawberries and then all of my frozen bone vegetable broth. I have breakfast sausage and then more meat is down here. <laughs> Lots of meat, you guys. Popsicle. And then last but not least, I have some frozen guacamole. And then my kids love porridge. And so I normally get this at the grocery outlet. And then I always keep like our ice packs and of course, Boo Boo Bunny. Okay, there you go. I have shown you my pantry, my deep freezer, um, my spice rack, my refrigerator, my freezer, and then my little grain section. <laughs> so that's it, you guys. That's all my